Hello everybody, I'm working on something different today. I'm working in the admin console for improve the configuration of the Maramos AI plugin. Uh, you can see the Maramos installed, so I can go to settings, and now the settings are slightly different. I have this, for example, this block here for user restrictions. I can enable or disable it, but if I enable that, I have the, the permissions to uh, allow private channels or not, um, allow to certain teams or only certain users. Same configuration as before, but now is is more uh, comfortable because it's hiding if you don't have that enabled. Also, well, the previous existing settings are still here, but not only that, now you can add services. For example, you can add here, I can say, open a, a AI, and I can configure the API key. The default model can be GPT-4, for example. And it's an open AI, so I can, I'm going to, uh, that's already added. I'm going to add another uh, AI service, and I can say, for example, uh, I want to use SSH. Uh, I'm going to use GPT-4 again. And the username is going to be username, and the password is going to be password. So now I have this configured here. I can say, you know what, for a large language model, I'm going to use the, the AxH1. I'm going to change the name, um, the AxH1. Uh, so I can go here and use the assage for the LLM, but the image generator and the audio video transcript service is going to be uh, OpenAI for using Whisper. So I can save this and everything is saved properly. So I can even create more uh, other, other um, services here. I can use, for example, uh, OpenAI compatible for uh, on-prem uh, AI or for something like uh, Azure uh, OpenAI, so you can you can put whatever you want there and use use it for the transcript or use it for the image generation or use it for the language model. So now the configuration is not only more pleasant to see, it's also more flexible, um, and that's it. I think is is very interesting and I see a lot of potential here. Thank you. See you.